in this video we are going to see the programming part of our digital clock hi guys welcome again myself advocate parish matre this is the 28 pin avr microcontroller we are using in our digital clock this is the risk architecture microcontroller which is more advanced than the cisc meaning complex instruction set computer this is the port c pin number 6 and also pin number 1 of the avr it has seven pin total port c 0 to port c 6 port c pin number 5 to 2 we are using for our cathode pins as you already know the port b port b 0 pin number 14 15 16 17 18 and 19 are pin number 1 to 5 respectively pin number 9 and 10 are the port b 6 and 7 respectively pin number 12 and 13 we are using for switches which are port d 6 and 7 respectively to 6 and pin number 11 we are not using which are actually port d there is a power supply on pin number 7 which is vcc and ground on the pin number 8 take a look on the architecture of this avr so many circuitry include in this architecture of avr avr cpu contains alu arithmetic logic unit and control unit so it's called central processing unit cpu this is the flash where our program going to be stored this is the sram or a static ram upper section of this ram contains 32 general purpose register and special function register we are going to use some of them this is the circuitry for clock generation these are the ports port d port b and port c this is the atmel studio application for programming avr microcontroller from microchip company and it is freely available on the internet select new project this window will appear then select language c or assembly whichever you want in our case assembly type the name of the project in our case digital clock on breadboard and then click okay after this another window will appear in this window we have to select microcontroller which we are going to program in our case at mega 328p is selected after selections we will click on okay after this this application create solution for us we are programming in assembly language so our file extension is .asm let us move to the programming part at the beginning we give the instruction .org0 it is actually to the assembler we will start the programming from the zero address of the program memory we initialize the stack with the value 0 then we make port b output port and port c pin 5 to 2 output here we are making port d pin 7 input pin port d 6 pin input pin by giving instruction cbi ddid 7 and cbi ddid 6 r22 and 23 are our r register and r20 and 21 are our minutes register respectively we are initialize them 
with the value 0. This is our main loop of 1 minute. We have given the name pattern. This is our label and we can give any label of our choice. We started with the value 207 for register R18 and 13 for R19. We started with the comparison of register R23 which is our R register for 10th place. CPI is compare immediate instruction which capable to compare register with a direct value 0 to 255. After comparison of the register R23 with the value 1, we have given the instruction branch if equal and jump particular location. If it is not equal, then we will come down and compare value 2 with the register R23. And there is another instruction of BRAQ for jump to that particular location. Those particular location are R00 and R10. Here first we give the value to the port B FC which has been compared and then a delay of 8 millisecond and then we jump to the location hour 1 to 9. This is a hexadecimal value. We are doing the same thing with the register R22 which is the first place hour. We compare it with the value 0 to 9 for our first place hour. After comparing the hours, we will jump to the minute comparison. Here we compare the minutes and we have the register R21 for the 10th place of minute. Programming format will remain the same. Only difference is that here we are using register R21 comparing 1 to 5. After this 5 comparison, we will jump to the first place minute comparison with the help of the register R20. Here we are comparing register R20 with the value 1 to 9. Hex value FC display 0, 60 display 1, DA display 2, F2 display 3, 66 display 4, B6 display 5, B display 6, E0 7, FE8, F6 9 on our digital clock. In a moment we are going to see very important part of our programming with the label OVR that means over. In this part we started decrement register R18 and R19 respectively to complete a minute. If our zero flag will get set, we will jump to the label back. If not, then we will jump back to go, meaning that we will remain into the same loop. Into the location back, we are incrementing our minutes for one place. After this we will come to the location here where we are feeding the value for minute once again. We also compare our register R20 with the value 10. When R20 is equal to 10 it means that our 10 minutes have been completed and we will jump to the MK20 location to make it 0 with the instruction load immediate R20 0. 
and start incrementing register R21 which is our minute 10th place. After increment we immediately compare it with value 6. If R21 is equal to 6 we will make it 0 into the location MK210. It means that 60 minutes time has been completed and there is a time to make it 0. Here we start incrementing R22 which is our first place and same as above R22 and R23 we are making 0. This programming gives us clock on our 4 digit 7 segment display. Now we will see the subroutine 8 millisecond delay. We load value 108 to the register R16 and 4 into the R17. Under the label display digit 4, we make our digit 4 on by giving instruction CBI port C5. Rest of the digit remain off. Then we decrement R16 and R17 one by one and return from the subroutine. We have created three more subroutines with the same format with a little difference for remaining three digits. In this second subroutine we add little programming for our decimal point blinking. Now you can understand this trick very easily. Rest of the part remains same with a very little difference. Now we will see the actual burning of program code into the microcontroller. First we generate the hex file by building this program with the help of this Atmel Studio. For building the solution we have two options in this application build menu and build icon. To build our solution we click on the build solution option into this menu. We can directly click on the build icon to build our solution. If our programming is very correct, then all the details we will get into the output. You can see this. .csEG is our flash memory and this is 570 byte in our case. This is USB ASP device and this is ISP connector. This is microcontroller for programming. This is crystal and this is USB connector. This is the website of Thomas Pischi who designed the USB ASP device where we get all the setup detail. This is AVR Dudes application available freely on the internet. In this application we first choose the USB ASP as our programmer. Then we set the port as USB baud rate 19200 and 1.5 MHz clock. Then we select the microcontroller which we are going to program in our case is at mega 328p so we select that after selection of microcontroller we will come to the flash programming we are clicking on the right side little square box to choose our hex file now we are selecting this hex file we generated into the atmel studio before burning the hex file into the microcontroller, let us see the hardware setup. 
This is our digital clock on breadboard. Pin number 16 of our microcontroller is connected to the reset pin of USB ASP. Pin number 17 is MOSI, pin number 18 is MISO and pin number 19 is clock pin. With the help of 220 ohm resistor, pin number 16 and pin number 1 we tied together. Without this, debugging of this microcontroller is impossible. We have connected USB ASP to our computer. All the hardware setup has been done and we are ready for burning the code into our microcontroller. We click on the program and program loading operation has been done. We are removing all the hardware setup. First we remove USB ASP, then all connections of MOSI, MISO, clock and reset pin, power connection and LED for indicator purpose. Now we are going to take a test of our clock. We are giving power supply, 5 volt. After giving the power supply, our clock is not getting on. For that, we have to remove register 220 ohm, which we have attached between pin number 16 and pin number 1. Now we will see the display. Let us set the clock. Our breadboard digital clock is working fine. If you have any query, ask into the comments. Like my video, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.